Hey y'all, today I have another flip through and review for you guys. This is going to be a flip through and review of Blossom and Root Science Year One. Let's get into it. First of all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, well, hello, it's so nice to meet you. My name is Kayla. I'm a second generation homeschool mom to two girls, age seven and four in Texas. This is Ode to Abode, a place where I love to talk about home education and motherhood and all the wonderful things. If you like that kind of stuff, please consider clicking the subscribe button, click that notification bell, so you'll be one of the first to know when I make my next video. And let's get into this video today, guys. I'm going to be showing you one of our favorite curriculums from this past school year. I am still in the mode right now of doing some flip throughs and reviews of things that we've used, things that we've loved, and things that we will continue using into the next school year. But don't think that I'm forgetting to show y'all our curriculum picks for next year because we are adding a lot of things into the mix. So the first week of July, I will have two to three videos sharing. It's going to be three videos. I'm just going to say it now. I'm just going to commit. It's going to be three videos sharing all of our curriculum picks. So I will have kindergarten picks, second grade picks, and family subject picks the first week of July. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can see what we're going to be using next year. Because like I said, we are adding a lot of new things to the mix and I'm so excited about that. But today, again, we're going to look at one of my tried and true favorite curriculums and that is Blossom and Root Science. We're going to be looking at the year one level and this is what we used this past year for our science spine and we really loved it. So let's dive in. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show y'all what this curriculum is all about. It is a secular science curriculum. So just putting that out there in case you need to know that. And yeah, let's turn the camera around and let's take a look. Okay guys, so I have the science curriculum in my handy dandy homeschool teacher binder. It is a PDF curriculum, meaning that you will download the files and then you will need to either have it printed or print it yourself. This particular grade level that we did last year, I opted to just print it myself, which is why I don't have the gorgeous color cover for you here. However, the next grade level that we're going to be starting in August, I did print in color and I had it spiral bound. So that's why this looks like that. Let's get into it. So this is Blossom and Root Elementary Science Year One. The theme for this grade level is Wonders of the Earth and Sky. You're going to be learning some earth science. You're going to be learning some geology. You'll learn about the weather and the seasons, um, extreme weather. All of that is what is going to be covered in this grade level. What I'm showing you right now is the parent's guide. There are also some student pages um, that are basically just notebook pages. I will see if I can insert an image of those right now. They're basically just a notebook page for your child to do a little bit of writing and maybe an illustration for each week's wonder or each week's lesson. So this first page tells you about the curriculum. Christina, the creator of Blossom and Root, calls each science lesson a wonder. So you will see that throughout the curriculum. Blossom and Root also does have a year of nature study curriculum that you can purchase on its own or along with the science, and they do coordinate together. However, my family... We didn't really use the nature study program consistently, so that's why I'm showing you the science on its own. These are kind of the general steps that you're going to go through each week for each wonder. And this is a very flexible 
curriculum where she really encourages you to make it work for your family. She has some pages here that are going to explain each step in depth. So your first step is your wonder step, and that's kind of just presenting the overall ideas and introducing the science concepts to your child. She does include options for different styles of homeschooling. So if you're more on the minimalist side, or if you're a book basket family or a literature based family, or if you have more visual learners, she has options for each of those styles. This is your step two, this is your explore step. And this is where you're gonna be doing some more hands-on learning, um, really connecting with the information and connecting with the concept. She might include an experiment or a craft or a project to get more familiar with the concept and have some real hands-on learning. Then step three is record, and this is where your child will document what they have learned, and she gives you some options for how they could document what they've learned as well. And then again, a lot of flexibility is encouraged. So she has this whole section giving you permission to go off the grid, to follow the rabbit trails, and to make this curriculum work for your child and for your family. This page here explains how the nature study that corresponds with this science curriculum works. Again, I don't have the nature study to show you today, but it's laid out very similarly. Okay, and then this is the table of contents. So this is gonna tell you each wonder or lesson that is covered in this curriculum. So if you followed that schedule, you would have 36 weeks or 36 lessons, 36 wonders for your school year. This is a book list. Um, there are some required spine books for this curriculum. And then she also has some recommended books and she tells you which lesson they might be used for so that if you're getting these from the library, you can kind of prepare and know which week you will need those books. She has an additional list for completely optional books just to kind of extend and enrich further. And the optional book list is one, two, three, four, five, five pages long. So she has a lot of book recommendations for your school year here. I didn't use half of these, but it's nice to have them here um, if you really are looking for that enrichment or you're looking for more books to add to your library that are in this like science nature study theme. After our book list, we go right into our weeks. And the way that this is laid out is you have all of your week activities on one page, which I really like because it just makes it so much simpler. I don't have to flip back and forth <laughs> to multiple pages for just one week of learning. So each wonder or each week lesson has its own page. Christina has an introduction here to kind of give you an overview of the lesson. Then she has big picture messages. So these are things that you really want your child to walk away knowing and understanding from this lesson. Anything that's of note, she will also put here. And then she has your categories. So minimalists, book basket folks, visual learners. This is where you will find all of your um, lesson ideas for each of those categories. Now you could cover all of these if you really are interested in this topic, if your child has a lot of questions, if you wanna cover it really thoroughly, you could definitely cover all of this. It is not so much content that it is overwhelming by any means. You can also be very flexible with this. Maybe some weeks you wanna dive in deep and maybe other weeks you don't have that much time or your child's not that interested and all you wanna do is watch the video links that she has sourced for you. You can do it however you want and I really love that flexibility. She will also reference all of your hands-on learning. 
And then she has those laid out for you in a separate PDF lab guide that will just give you instructions for each of these activities. And they're really pretty simple activities. Um, all of the items that you would need for them are mostly things you already have around the house. So again, very flexible, very easy to use this curriculum. So wonder number two is laid out the same way. And then we just keep going and it's all laid out very similarly. And that is it. That is the full parent guide for this science curriculum. If you buy just the science curriculum, you will get this parent guide and your lab guide and your student notebook pages. And again, it's all PDF and you can print it. You can have it spiral bound, stick it in a binder, whatever you would like. Um, you could also use it digitally on your iPad or your tablet. So totally up to you. All you would need in addition, your required spine books or an equivalent, and then you can choose which of the recommended or optional books to pick up along the way. And then if you want to add that additional nature study, then you have that option as well. But that does come either separately or you can do it in a package and get it with the science curriculum. If you guys have any questions at all about Blossom and Root Science Year One, please let me know in the comments. We did go through this entire curriculum last school year and we really, really enjoyed it. Um, I found it to be very easy. I found it to be very flexible. And we are going to continue to use Blossom and Root Science next school year. All right, y'all. Thank you again for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in the next video. Happy homeschooling.